with our featured uh, speaker today. She started almost three years ago, guys, which we're starting to see a pattern with this. It's like the sweet spot for really hitting your stride as a coach. Um, she is a Success Club 10 legend. Uh, legend means that she has hit uh, Success Club over 24 months in a row. She's a two-time elite coach. She's also a 10-star diamond coach. She has worked this business hard in three years. She is from LA, down here in Downey, California. Please bring on Daniela Sanchez. Hello there, Daniela. Good morning, Sandy. <laughs> Finally, you made it on here. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And you and I are on the same time zone. So thanks yes. for waking Thank you for up. Having me. You're very, very welcome. I want everybody to know what brought you to Beachbody because you've had an incredible journey so far. So take it away. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Daniela, but I go by Danny. I have been a beach body coach for almost three years. It'll be three years this July. Um, before beach body, I was a personal trainer and I also offered online coaching. I was obsessed with the gym. I was training six times a week for about two hours a day. Um, even though I loved my job as a trainer and <clears throat> I was making a good income, I was missing a lot of time away from my family. Whenever my husband would get home, he would take over the kids so I can train clients in the evenings. So that means I was missing dinner and I was missing the whole bedtime routine. I wasn't putting my boys um, in bed every night. Um, things really took a turn when I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's. And what that means is I have an underactive thyroid. Um, my entire life, flipped upside down. I started um, struggling with anxiety. I started struggling with depression silently, didn't tell anyone. Um, I was losing hair. I was always cold and I was gaining weight. I gained about 15 pounds in a matter of four months. And that was really, really hard for my mental health. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, as a trainer, I feel like I had to look a certain way, seeing my body changing, um, not fitting into my clothes was just really hard for my mental health. I struggled with body image issues. Um, and when all this was going on, I met someone on social media, on Instagram. She was also an online coach. Um, but I knew she was doing something different because she was traveling, something that I truly love to do. And she was mentoring girls to start an online business. So that was something that I was like, whoa, I would love to do that. Um, but most importantly, she was part of a community. And that's something that I was lacking. I felt very lonely as a trainer. I was just a team of one. Um, and I just kept watching her. I remember she shared a picture when she was at the Success Club trip in 2018. She was at Riviera Maya. And I was just like, okay, I need to find out what she's doing because I need to go on these trips too. Um, so she invited me to a three-day sneak peek on Facebook. And um, even though I loved everything she shared, I let my ego get the best of me. I still said no. I felt like I was overqualified as a trainer. I worked so hard to get my certification. So I said no, but the seed was planted and I kept watching her. And I guess the FOMO was real because four months later, I finally said yes. Um, and when I did, I just, I went all in. You know, thank you so much for sharing uh, that story. I'm, right when you said Hashimoto's, so many people were like, yeah. I have that, I deal with that. And when you said I was a team of one, that really struck a chord because that is really, sometimes you feel alone, you feel isolated and you want a community. It's, yeah. it's incredible how many people come to Beachbody for the community. Exactly. Right. I was lacking that. I didn't feel like I belonged at the gym anymore just because of everything I was going through. And yeah, I, I needed that community. I didn't realize I needed it so much until I have it. Like now that I have it, um, it's everything. Yeah, until you saw it. Like you connected with somebody because you wanted what she had and what she exactly. had was a community. Really, really interesting. Now you ended with saying that you were going all in and I know that you're going to talk about what exactly that means, but let's first talk about the topic. Why this topic? Why now? What does it mean to you? 
just go right in and start talking about it. Okay. So social media has always been my strength and it's not because I have a lot of followers. It's because of the connections that I've been able to make on social media. I feel like a lot of coaches, when they start their business, they invite their war market, they invite family members, they invite friends, coworkers, neighbors, which is great, but eventually that dies down. And it's really important to work on a social media platform where you are building strong and authentic connections. Um, <clears throat> so today I want to just go over some of the things that I have done on social media that have really helped me and have helped my coaches when I'm onboarding them to build connections that build to build trust and connections that later on will give you the confidence to invite to an upcoming challenge or to invite um, someone to the business opportunity. So the first thing that I always tell my coaches, because I learned from this, is to be authentic. And I know that we hear this all the time. It's not something new. Um, be yourself. But I say this because when I started my Instagram account six years ago, I made the mistake of not being 100% myself. I posted um, just my good days. I posted the perfectly clean house, the perfectly dressed kids looking like they were straight out of a magazine. I didn't share the messy side, the side that makes me relatable to others. So it's very important for me now to stay true to myself, to be the same person that I am in real life, to be that person on social media. Because I'm trying to find my people out there. I'm still trying to build a team. Um, so if I'm true to myself and if I'm, I show them not only my good days, but my bad days, I'll start connecting with a lot more people that will eventually help me with my business. Some of the things <clears throat> that I, I'm so sorry, I don't know what is going on with my throat, but some of the things that I have um, opened up on social media have been uncomfortable and um, I, re I really open my heart to um, you know the people that follow me because I know that if I do this someone out there at least one person is going to relate to it relate to it um, some of the things that I have opened up about is about Hashimoto's so I've been able to connect with other ladies that have the same autoimmune disease I have opened up about anxiety. That is something very common that others go through. And it's opened so many doors and has allowed me to build a trust with other um, other ladies that are following my journey. So whenever um, I have a new coach, I have a new coach call and I have them write down their struggles. Um, and I really encourage them to open up at least open up to at least one of their struggles. It can be a struggle in the past um, or it can be a struggle that they're going through. I have a, um, a newer coach who started in December and in our new coach call, she um, opened up about going through IBF and I really um, encouraged her to open up about that because that is something that a lot of women are going through. That is a journey that a lot of women um, can relate to. And she did. And when she did that, it was so powerful. The amount of support and love that she got from that um, was was everything. Um, so that is something that I always strive for. I want to show uh, my good days, the things that my team is accomplishing, like when we hit 10 star. But I also want to share the things that um, I struggle with, like um, my team falling apart and having to rebuild a year after hitting 10 star because that is my reality. And I want people to admire me, not just for my highs, but also my lows. So that is number one. The second thing that I go over with new coaches um, is expanding their brand. It's so important that we expand our brand because we are more than just coaches. Okay. When I started my personal training business on um, social media, I made the mistake of only sharing fitness related content. I would share workouts. I would share, um, you know, educate my followers on proper form. I would share transformation pictures. And that's all I shared. And after a while, I noticed that I wasn't connecting with new people. I was connecting with the same people that were interested in fitness. And reality is not all our followers 
are going to want to get healthy and fit. Not everybody wants to lose weight. So it is important that you expand, that we expand our uh, our brand and we are our brand. So when I talk to new coaches, I ask them, what makes them them? You know, what's important to you? What is, what are your hobbies? Those are the things that I want you to talk about. And I give them some examples. I always give the example of plants. We ha- There's a lot of plant ladies out there. Um, so if you're into plants, maybe talk about plants. Um, how do you take care of your plants? Where do you buy your plants? You won't see me talking about plants because I can barely keep my I can barely keep my kids alive. I I don't like plants. I don't buy them. So you won't see me talking about that. But if that's you, I want you to share about that. Um, <clears throat> Are you into fashion? I love to shop. So I'll take my followers shopping with me. They know that I love Target. They know that I like Zara, H&M. So I take them shopping with me. I show them what I buy. Um, I share the style of the jeans. If they ask me, um, I share more than just fitness and nutrition. When I talk to new coaches, I know for a fact that they're going to talk about fitness because that's what we do. We follow at home fitness programs. I know that they're going to follow. They're going to share content on nutrition because we have two nutrition programs, ultimate portion fix and to be mindset. And I know that they're going to talk about the third one is coaching because they have a coaching business and they want to grow their team. But what else besides those three things are they going to focus on? What else, what type of um, content are they going to bring valuable content And it can be also a struggle that you're going through. If it's IBF that you're going through, then talk about that journey and share content on that. Um, One of my, um, part of my brand is my autoimmune disease because I know I have a lot of followers that can relate to that. So I share content about that. The foods that I eat, um, the supplements that I, that I take, um, how much sleep is, you know, is needed for me to feel at my best. Um, so expanding your brand is very important <clears throat> because everybody that follows us doesn't just want to lose weight. But if you connect with them, if you build trust through fashion, through IBF, through anxiety, whatever your brand is about, if you build trust, that is going to help you invite them later on because you already connected with them through something else. So number three. And the last thing that I do with um, new coaches when I'm onboarding is having them focus on their journey and not on their followers. I don't teach them how to make reels. I don't teach them how to get 10K followers so they can get the link, the swipe up link feature on stories. To me, that is not important when they're just starting. And I will share something Um I've I've realized that less is better when I'm onboarding coaches. When I first started coaching, I made the mistake of overwhelming my new coaches. I would have them watch 20 training videos that were about 15 to 20 minutes long. And I started noticing that the excitement that they had in the beginning of when they started their business, when they said yes, um, it died down by the time that they finished these videos because so much time had passed. Sometimes it would take them up to um, two weeks to watch these videos. So I got rid of those videos and I created new videos that were short and effective. I have seven to eight videos that are very straightforward. Um, They're about 10 minutes long. And I noticed that these videos have been more effective than the long ones. So sometimes less is better. I also talk to them about the tone that they're going to use on social media when they talk about the total solution that they're offering. Okay, my new coaches are going to focus on three things. That is sharing about the fitness program that they're doing, sharing about the nutrition program that they're following and sharing about the products that they're committing to. Okay, but when they talk about these three things, I want them to feel confident. So they need to get familiar with these three things before they go out there and they talk about it. And going back to the tone, the tone is everything because it's the way you deliver the message. I want them to show um, um, sound excited. I want them. um, I want their tone to express joy. Um, If they're not familiar with what they're doing, they're going to be nervous and their followers see right through that. So 
I always give this example. If you go on stories and you're like, I'm going to grab my phone. Hi, guys. Happy Monday. I am so excited. Today, I'm starting a nine-week program. Um, the only thing I need is two sets of dumbbells. I'm going to be doing a nutrition program as well. I'm really excited to share my journey with you. Hopefully, you'll get inspired to join me. Hey, that is something that shows excitement. Um, they're most likely going to be you know, curious on what this nine week program is all about. But if you go on stories and you're like, hi guys, happy Monday. So I'm going to do this program and I think it's nine weeks long. That tone is not going to catch anyone's attention. Um, no one's going to ask you what you're doing because you don't even sound excited yourself. So the tone that you use is everything. It plays a huge role. Um, I also advise my new coaches to share a story. We all know that storytelling is really effective. So I want them to not just say, oh, my God, the best superfood shake ever. Swipe up if you want to purchase it or hit me up. Send me a DM if you want to get this superfood shake. I don't mentor my coaches to do that. I encourage them to talk about what the superfood shake is doing for them. What was life before the superfood shake? What is life now with your superfood shake? So TMI for me, and I always share this, uh, this story because it's my true story. Before um, my superfood shake, I used to be severely constipated. I would go up to three days without using the restroom. And now that is not an issue. So I share that. Um, I share, you know, I used to struggle with this and now I don't. It's just not something that um, I'm going through anymore. I also shared a story about Energizer. I had a horrible incident where um, years ago when I was really into the gym and bodybuilding, I had a pre-workout that landed me in the ER. I thought I was going to die. I had heart palpitations. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. And I swear I made a promise that I would never, ever have another pre-workout in my life. Um, but then I joined Beachbody and I didn't try Energizer for about a year um, until Mixed Berry came out because the FOMO was real. I tried it and now I don't go a day without Energizer. I love it. So I share that story on um, IG, on IG stories. I share that how I was so traumatized from having a pre-workout that landed me in the ER to having a pre-workout uh, pre-workout that's Energizer, that is plant-based, that that gives me the, um, the perfect boost for my workouts, that doesn't get me jittery, that doesn't land me in the ER, um, doesn't make me feel like I'm having a heart attack, doesn't make me crash. And when I share that story, it was so powerful. I, I think I sent 26 links for Energizer that day because people just related to that story. So that is something that I encourage my coaches to do, to share a story of what the products um, have done for you. What have the workouts done for you? Have they um, helped you with your energy? I used to have to take naps. I still kind of take naps, so I'm not going to lie, but because of my thyroid condition, but I don't take them every day. So I share that. Um, Another thing that I go over on the new coach call that's really important, you guys all know the importance of personal development. And it is so important that my new coaches start strong because my, you know that most of them start with a lot of doubts. I did too. I had no idea what I was going into. So I encourage them to read a book, Hello Fears. I have it right here. It's such a fun and easy read. It focuses on Free, uh, facing your fear. Sometimes when we start something new, like starting a business, uh, we think about all the things that can go wrong. But then after we do it, we realize that it was so worth facing those fears. So I have them read this book when they start um, their business. And yeah, those are just some of the things that I have done for my business on social media and the things that I do with new coaches when I'm onboarding them. You know what, Danny? You have um, you have opened up this whole universe for coaches to start sharing other parts of their life. 
What I think is rather ironic for you not being a plant lady is your <laughs> wallpaper has plants all over it. So and, yeah. and when you and I, I know how that happened. <laughs> when you and I first talked, you started saying, you know, I'm in budgeting. And I was like, budgeting? Who's yeah, that's another into budgeting? But you're into budgeting, <laughs> but not into plants. No. <laughs> Okay, that was so, so great. And I'm sure people have um, some excitement about sharing um, more sides of them. So really what you're saying is don't only show fitness and beach body in your social media, show all different aspects of exactly. yourself. You relate to more people, you bring in more people. But then when you do talk about the journey, focus really more on the journey than the followers. Exactly. The followers come. If you share your journey and the excitement that you have towards these workouts or these products, um, people will start to ask you and you're going to start building connections through everything else. Like the things that I mentioned, like um, if you're into fashion, if you're into traveling, um, build that trust first. That way, when you go out there and you send an invite, it's not going to feel, you know, an invite shouldn't feel weird. It should feel natural. You're just inviting Stacy, who you connected over plants with. Um, you know, you're inviting Stacy to your upcoming challenge or you tell Stacy, hey, you know, the other day when we were talking about plants, I really like felt this connection. And I think that you would really, you know, get along with the rest of my coaches on my team. Why don't you join us on Tuesday for a sneak peek? No commitment. Just hear my story and see if it's something that you can see yourself doing. Perfect. You've done a great job. This has truly been a favorite call of mine. You've talked oh. about Hashimoto's, constipation, plant, <laughs> and energizer, which I believe is a bunny, but it is energize. Yes. It's, just, <laughs> and, it's perfect. And um, okay, so to close out your portion of the call right now, what do you think has been a key factor in your success in the last three years? I think two things have played a huge role in my success. The first one, without a doubt, has to be um, the new leader conference, which is um, for one star to four star diamond coaches. NLC was the very first event that I attended with Beach Body, and I don't think I realized how big, like what I was part of until NLC. I was mind blown by the support, um, the amount of training that was provided that weekend just inspired me and really, I'm getting the chills right now, really motivated me to push harder. I remember clearly um, seeing Amy Bailey, who was Amy Rada back then. Um, she was up on stage and she shared how she was invited to NLC the year prior. And within that year, she hit top 10 and she was a guest speaker <clears throat> that year for our NLC. So she just inspired me to push even harder to 10x my actions. Um, and I left NLC as a three-star diamond coach. And only four months later, uh, my team and I hit 10 star. And um, I was also asked to be a guest speaker for Summit that summer. Um, you know, and I was just in the business for 11 months. So that was really that NLC played a huge, huge role in my success. The other thing that has played a huge role and continues till this day has been personal development. I can't say it enough. Um, my coaching journey has not always been uphill. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier in the call that we hit 10 star and within a year that we hit 10 star, my entire team fell apart. A lot of coaches ended up leaving and that really affected my confidence. And, um, it affected how I was showing up for other coaches on my team. So I turned into working on my mindset, personal development. I went all in with that and it just kept me going until this day. It keeps me going and it keeps me growing and to the leader that I am today. 
I'm just sitting back listening to you and just <laughs> forgot to hit the button here. But um, thank you for sharing that because uh, everybody gets inspired by someone or something. And it's important to recognize that when you are challenged in a certain area, like you were challenged with confidence, that you turn to grow your mindset with a, a great book and to focus on personal development. Danny, thank you so much. This no, thank has been you. really fun working with you. And uh, make sure you go over to that 411 Facebook page. There's a lot of people complimenting you and asking oh, more questions. Maybe you can um, take a walk over there. So thank you. Have a great day. Thank you week. for having me. Have a great day, everyone. And now it's time for five minutes with Kevin Shaw, the best five minutes of your week. So, Kay Shaw, you can take it away. Thank you, Sandy and Daniela. That was really, really good. I hope you guys paid attention to what she had to say. Okay, let's dive into a little bit of what's going on here. So, as you guys know, February is over. February is a team comp month, very heavy on getting people started. March, for some reason, people think, okay, that February is done. Ah, I can rest. That's not the case here. How what we do here in March is we get people results. We get people excited about what they do because when people have a transformation, they tell others about it. So I want to make sure that you have a bot group started, ready to go for these people in because because February is over. Maybe you just did a little program, a 21-day program, or you could have done a nine-week one. Either way, time to get these people results. So I'm going to share my screen. Sandy I always help uh, make sure you guys help me with this, but I'm going to do this. Okay. So what you need to do to start a bot group is very simple. All you need to go need to do is go to beachbodyondemand.com. This is where you do your workouts. Uh, and if you click on at the top here, you'll see a bot groups tab. Very simple to click on. You just all, then you click on start a group and get started. Okay. So this is something that you guys can do. I want you to practice this if. I, if anything, please just practice this. You can delete this group and, and, and come up with it when you're ready. But I want to make sure you guys know exactly how to start a group. Now, because this, I'm going to assume this is the very first group. We're not going to select a, to copy a past group. Um, I'm going to do this one as a fitness theme. You can do a program theme if you would like. You'll notice down here we have all of our programs that you can do a theme around. I'm just going to do simply do fitness. I'm going to have this one start. Um, and I'm going to give them a week to do it. So I'm going to say it's going to start a week from today. And we're going to go until sometime in the end of April. Okay. You can choose whenever. Or if you would like, you can do an ongoing group that does not have an end date. That's completely fine as well. This group is going to be an English group. And I'm going to have this one be an open group. So what this is as asking here is who do you want to see your listing? Who can join it? So people you invite, people invite plus your customers, and those plus those on your coach page. I know maybe I'm going a little too fast. I apologize if I'm going a little too fast for you. Uh, but, but this shouldn't be overwhelming. You can go over this at your own pace. Down here is asking, who do you, do you want Carl and the super trainers to be able to upload posts? They won't be able to see your group, but they, to upload a post to your group? Absolutely. I'd love to hear from Carl. I'd love to hear from the super trainers. Uh, now, my, the group name. So because this is a March group, uh, February, we're just, or I'm going to call this, we're just getting started. Okay, we're just getting started here. Um, this one, so, I don't know. Well, which one look like they're just getting started? How about, oh, she's just getting started with those shoes. Okay, we're just getting started, guys. Lace up those shoes, tighten that ponytail, and we're getting started. Okay, do you have an intro video? I don't, but I'm gonna record one right now. Hey guys, I'm excited about this. Come on, Danielle said we need to improve. Hey guys, I have a group getting started right now. This is a group I've been telling you about. Cannot wait to get started. We are just getting started. Make sure you guys have everything ready to go a week from today, March 9th. Okay, thanks Daniela for helping me do that. Um, so you can upload that. You can describe your group if you'd like. Click on, oh, oh. Um, okay, something like that, okay. Uh, I want them to have Beachbody on demand because I want them to be doing a program. I want them drinking Shakeology every single day because you guys know that it is important. Here I'm going to say uh, meal tracking because we just learned today how to do that. And I want them drinking lots and lots of agua. Okay. Click next. You can show some up to three testimonials if you'd like. 
that one's great. That one's great. And that one's great. Okay, you can preview your group ready to go. Oh, this is a little bit of a stretch. Hold on. Take this moment to stretch. Ah, <laughs> that was funny. I wonder who came up with that. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. Please. Okay, we're just getting started. It starts in seven days, 15 hours, 14 minutes. They need beach body and demand, shakeology, meal tracking, and water. Here are some very inspirational transformations. I think it looks good to me. So we're going to have this publish the group. Now, this is where the important part comes because you now to need, need to invite people. You can either click on this, enter in their name and their email address. That's completely fine. Or you can go to the previous one. There's a link you can copy, send it through your regular email. Guys, that is how you start a group. And as you guys know, the, the thing that's most important when it comes to this stuff is accountability. Groups help people stay accountable. So don't let the platform just hold them accountable. It's one way of accountability. Make sure you guys tune in, check in with them, help them get results, help them overcome any troubles that they're going through. And guys, this is a phenomenal month. Cannot wait for March to begin. Guys, March means summer, spring's here, sprites, summer's right around the corner, which means bathing suits are ready to come out and dust off. They're thinking about it. Make sure you guys are there to help answer their questions. That's what's going on, guys. Have a phenomenal week. Have a great week. We will catch you next week on the National Wake Up Call. Bye, guys.